I think that young people have such an important role in youth leadership and leadership in general because adults often overlook our voice and that we have a voice. Young people everywhere should make their voices heard because we are the now generation. My name is Cassandra Lin, I'm 15, I'm from Westley, Rhode Island, and I'm co-founder of Project TGIF, Turn Grease Into Fuel. I think that growing up in this area has definitely affected my environmental conscience because there's a lot of natural beauty where I live. In 2005, my brother started this project called Recycle and Reuse Our E-Waste. He and his team would get like old computers and refurbish them and then give them to like kids who didn't have access to those computers. So I remember like I would always like be cleaning out the keyboards and stuff even when I was little. Project TGIF is a sustainable system that collects used cooking oil from restaurants and residents has it converted into environmentally friendly biofuel and then uses that biofuel to heat the homes of financially stressed families. We launched Project TGIF by first lobbying our local town council and we asked them to place a receptacle at the transfer station so residents could recycle their oil there and they agreed. So that was like a huge step because before I don't think there was any uh, public place where residents in Rhode Island could go to recycle their used cooking oil. So then we started targeting commercial waste cooking oil, going visiting the restaurants one by one, like going up to the doors and asking for the owner or the manager or someone we could talk to who could like donate to the program. And then they'll provide you with free drums and come periodically to pick up your grease. So it doesn't cost me anything? No. And at first it was actually pretty challenging because like who's going to believe a bunch of fifth graders are going to change the world, you know? But after we gained uh, some restaurants, we gained credibility as well. So like we could go up to the restaurants and be like, hey look, we have 30 restaurants, do you want to be another? All the grease is converted into biofuel and then the portion from our program will go directly to charities to those that need the heat. The relationship between us and the charities is that they help us identify those who need the heat and then we just deliver, you know, deliver the biofuel to those families. They are amazing. I'm very proud of them. To have a heart like that, to see something that may have gone to waste and um, see how they can to bring it back to life for someone to help them. I remember the first year we probably had like 30 restaurants and now fifth year into the program we have uh, 132 restaurants participating in the program and I think we've set some goals to further that number and hopefully get 200 within the next like one or two years. I definitely think that product TGIF is replicable and because of that we've actually created this toolkit of sorts. All the agreements, contracts, brochures, postcards necessary to get this started anywhere. I think there's definitely a difference between doing something of this scale by yourself and taking on this endeavor with a bunch of your friends. The great part of working in a team is we all try to keep each other motivated. We're all like, yay, we just got another restaurant. High five, guys. The best part of having Cassandra on the team is that she's always there to sort of forge the path for us. We put so much energy into this project because I think that even from when we were young, we saw what a big impact it had, and if you volunteered, you've always felt this feeling that you're not just giving back, but you're also helping yourself. 